Hey, check it out. The new Metal Gear Solid. Uh, I don't know. Don't look too great. I mean, that series really went downhill after the first game. Whatever. What else they got? I don't know. They've been kind of samey since A Link to the Past. Can't go wrong with this series. Ah, uh, this series never dies. You know, you start making these videos thinking, maybe, just maybe, if those guys at Square Enix sees them, maybe they can actually start producing new and better Final Fantasy games, instead of persisting in this pathetic nostalgia. Ever since a particular game, and you can see this most easily with the Chocobo games, Square Enix has turned the Final Fantasy franchise into kind of a storybook land. Lost tales that you can go back to, remi be reminded of. It's kind of like they stand back and they go, look what we've created. We've created legends. We don't have to do anything else. Instead with these games you get like, now we enter Final Fantasy VIII land. And all the music reminds you of Final Fantasy VIII. You see Squall who shows up and says, I'm Squall. And he's supposed to be happy. Oh, that's cool, that's cool. Some of these games were fun. But you could see the passion for making Final Fantasy was gone. Yet somehow, the number of Final Fantasy games made must have tripled. They haven't written a real Final Fantasy character in ages. They haven't written a new good Final Fantasy song since Final Fantasy X. When I started making these videos, I hoped that at least some people would start to realize that this is something that had to be changed. And while I was making my first Final Fantasy review, a bombshell happened that very few people noticed. You see, Final Fantasy XIII came out in America in March, and they already had plans to make a direct sequel called Versus Final Fantasy XIII. And then, Yoshinori Kitaze, the man who started well by writing Final Fantasy VIII, but in the end is the guy I blame for killing the Final Fantasy franchise. He said this, We don't know if there will be a 15. This depends a lot on the success of 13. And Final Fantasy 13 didn't do too good, did it? Final Fantasy might be dead. And of course, whenever there's a slump in Square Enix, Kataze has the obvious solution. In the past three years, we worked both on the world and on the various systems. Creating these systems isn't very glamorous and can frankly be a bit boring. If we could do a 13-2, we could direct all our attention to the story and refine what we've already built. So instead of concentrating on something new, Kitazi plans to make a sequel exactly like X2, using the same maps, all you have to do is a few color swaps, some more voice acting, and remember, it's not just one sequel this time, it's two. Versus 13 and Ajito 13, maybe even three. Why does Katazi saying that just sound like laziness to me? What you guys have to do is what you did in the first place. You made essentially the same engine for Final Fantasy 7, 8, and 9. You made the same engine for 5 and 6, and you had pretty much the same engine for 1, 2, 3, and 4. Maybe you should just make one engine, and then make different games out of it. You can't build one engine just so that you can make a sequel without, without changing anything. Innovation is okay, but when your innovation is just gimmicky bullshit, it's not okay. Stop with that. To his credit, he does play up his one strength. Kataze had the power of making very good characters. But if there is a 15, I hope the way we wrote our characters carries over. We strive to create believable people of flesh and blood. They are not robots. 
and they're not superheroes. I hope this humanity is something we'll see again. You have to remember, no matter how human your characters are, if you surround it with the gimmicky bullshit, your characters will suffer. If Gatase has one real problem, I think it's the fact that he trades quality and plot for expediency. Sakaguchi wanted to make a game that tugged at the heartstrings. When Sakaguchi made Final Fantasy, he wanted to make games that would that would bring players to fantastic worlds and make them feel emotions. That was his one goal. Sure, in the end it became very melodramatic, but I think it worked better than what's going on now. He also doesn't really understand Final Fantasy. The fact that Final Fantasy is a plot-driven thing. Also, it's difficult to pinpoint elements that are typical Final Fantasy. They are mostly invisible. Part of the DNA of the game that everyone recognizes as a typical Final Fantasy. You know, you can't just put Sid in there, some chocobos, put some Final Fantasy music in there, and bam, it's a Final Fantasy game. He doesn't get that graphics or what other games are doing are not as important to Final Fantasy fans as he thinks. I think he believes he has to compete. If there are games out there with good graphics, he has to make a game with the best graphics out there, because that's what Final Fantasy is to him. If RPGs are long, he has to make the longest RPG ever made, because that's what Final Fantasy is to him. RPGs have side quests, then Final Fantasy has to have the, the biggest amount of side quests ever seen on the face of the earth. But think back. Did Final Fantasy ever have the best graphics in the world? No. Think of the Final Fantasy VII. That game probably had the worst graphics of any game on the PlayStation. Final Fantasy VIII looks no better than Metal Gear Solid. I can think of a thousand NES and SNES games that looked infinitely better than Final Fantasy I through VI. Final Fantasy is not supposed to be a feast for the eyes. It's something more than that. A good Final Fantasy game will always be thought of on its own terms. When somebody's playing a Final Fantasy game, the rest of the world does not exist. Bethesda games and Elder Scrolls do not exist. Z Zelda. What the fuck is Zelda? It's not there. We're playing Final Fantasy. I firmly believe that if it continues like this, Final Fantasy will never recover, and very soon it will be dead. And, and it's sad because it might have died on the scrap heap. They're gonna make Final Fantasy XIV, another online game which nobody wants. They're gonna make Versus 2. They're gonna make Dissidia 2. Who the hell asked for that? Maybe a couple of more Chocobo games. But that might be it. I was gonna make this video to talk about what I wish Final Fantasy XV was. So I still might do that. If by some chance they do make Final Fantasy XV, it will make or break the series. And you should all know by now that I don't trust Square Enix to do it. Since then, news on Final Fantasy XV has gone back and forth. They might make it, they will. If they're gonna make it, they gotta make sure it's made in less than a year. There's no real idea yet. The series can go any direction, but they want to make sure they do something new. And by the way, Kitaze was asked about a remake to Final Fantasy VII, which he directed. And he basically said, since something like that would take three to four years, it's out of the question. If they're gonna do it, they'd have to be able to do it in under a year. If 15 is gonna be made, it's gotta be made fast. This worries me too. There's only been two Final Fantasy games made that fast. Final Fantasy IV, which was very good, and Final Fantasy IX, which wasn't as good. Now, I'm not saying Final Fantasy IX was bad. It's a hell of a lot better than the stuff that's coming out now. But I don't want to wait this long for another Final Fantasy IX. And then another villain of the piece, Square Enix president Yoichi Wada. Fuck you. He and the rest of the company actually learned that a lot of people didn't like Final Fantasy XIII. And he said that the Final Fantasy team didn't know whether to make a new game or yet another retread. Should Final Fantasy become a new type of game? Or should the Final Fantasy not become a new type of game? The customers have different opinions. It is very difficult to determine which way it should go. I want something new. I don't want to buy another game just to play a game I already have. I don't want to spend money to play the same game. Again, I don't know why it's so hard for you people to make a new game that's good. And I don't understand why so many fans want more retreads of this. I don't get it. I don't get it. Somebody explain this to me. So what would I want in Final Fantasy XV? Which, if the franchise is to survive, has to be the best game ever made. Remember, this is just my opinion. 
let's let's talk about this for a little while, and I invite your own opinions about this. <sighs> I can't believe you guys are actually admitting that you have no idea what to do. Well, you know what? I'll tell you. <laughs> 